Hey, what's up, guys? Um, <coughs> sorry about that. As you've seen right there on the title, today's video is just going to talk about lizards and more precisely the lizards that I have. I have a total of six different species, but within those six different species, I have a total of 16 different lizards. I'm going to talk about each of the species and I'm going to answer five questions that I always get asked when I mention these uh, lizards and that's going to be tank size, it's going to be temperatures, it's going to be diets, it's going to be do they need UVB lighting and of course how big do they get. Um, being that I'm talking about all the different species on this one video, <clears throat> I do take the time out to write these little index cards on each species so that way I just don't get confused and you know tell you the wrong information about either of them, any of them. Um, and how I'm going to introduce them is going to be what I would necessarily call beginner, beginning level and work my way up. <clears throat> now that's not saying that all these animals are, um, I don't even know. So let's just jump right into it. First animal, um, a lot of people have, maybe not as much as the second animal. It might not be as, uh, as popular as the second animal that I'm going to show you. But the first one's going to be leopard gecko. This is my male. Um, he's actually a max snow. I'm not sure if I can. Okay. So he's actually a max snow. Um, and with these guys. <clears throat> now mind you again. I'm going to go over these index cards. But this is how I talk about them. This is what I recommend. This is how I take care of my animals. I'm not saying that this is the only way. There's several different ways to take care of these animals, several different methods of anything. Um, however, to answer those questions, so this here, tank size is going to require at least a 10-gallon tank, in my preference. Some people do them in 2 gallons. Um, I do mine in at least a 10. The temperatures, the ambient temperature should be about 75 to 80 Calm down, little guy. But the basking spot or hot spot should be about 90 degrees. Really cool, little guys. Um, so their diet really consists of live insects. Uh, people use different things. You can give them different... Uh, calm down. You can feed them different... Uh, you know, I don't even know if there is any, but commercial food. I'm sure there is. I don't give mine crickets, but once in a while, um, I just do super worms. That's the main thing that I use. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people will sit here and tell you that you don't need UVB on leopard geckos. I do. I put UVB on mine, and I mean, what's it hurt? You know, it don't hurt them. If they don't need it, they don't need it. I personally think they do, so I keep it on them, and that's my preference. Now, these guys differ in size. Males are going to be bigger than females, and generally that's how it is with lizards. Uh, due to sexual dimorphism, it's completely opposite with most snake species. Regardless, these guys will get up to about uh, 7 to 10 inches. Pretty. Um... He's docile, but this one's actually bit me. The only one that's ever bit me. Now he's the only one that I have. Um, I didn't really like him. I can't say I didn't like him. I just, it's not my cup of tea, the leopard geckos. But doing the educational shows, I wanted to have at least one animal of a handful of different species. That way I can really talk about them and show them off and maybe interest some other people. Um... <clears throat> so my next guy, now this one, he's kind of small, focus, come on, there we go, alright, so he's kind of small yet, he is actually an adult, <clears throat> uh, but my bearded dragon, one of my bearded dragons, currently I have seven, seven bearded dragons, it's crazy, I know, right, um, as you can see, he's got black eyes, and that's because he's a translucent. 
<clears throat> he's not just a translucent. He's a dunner. I'm going to say fire. He's got a lot of red in there, too. Um, he's a dunner trans het hypo. Real pretty guy. But, so the care on these, I'd recommend starting out in a 20 and buy an adult, uh, <clears throat> at an adult size, I'd go up to a 40. I wouldn't go much more than a 40, maybe a 50, 55, I mean. Uh, I recommend the 40 all day, the 40 breeder. But their temperatures are going to be similar to the leopard geckos. And it's ambient temperature is going to be about 80 to 90. And then the hot spot, you want about 95 to 100. Sometimes I go just over 100. <clears throat> I don't know why it's not wanting to focus. Um, the diet, what I normally do, what I like to do um, myself, it's less, I don't want to say scary, but I don't give them fruit. Some people do. Um, I don't just because I don't want to have to worry about is it too much, is it too... Um, just, just whatever, you know. What I do is I, I keep them on a diet of greens as a staple. I use collard, collard, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but they can eat even kale, just not a lot. I don't recommend anyways um, as a staple food. But there's mustard greens, turnip greens, and obviously insects. Now a lot of people give their bearded dragons commercial food. And that's cool too. You can do that. I just, I prefer just the greens and the uh, super worms for staple foods. But, so there's that. And their size, about 22 to 24 inches. Which, 24 inches is 2 feet. Typically, males are bigger. Now I'm going to talk about this guy. Now, he, he's a little out there. He's still young, this one. <clears throat> this is going to be my veiled chameleon. Just a normal veiled. Um, I don't know if it's going to really focus. Come on, there we go, a little bit. It looks kind of blue, in the, or so much like a gray in the lighting <clears throat> regardless um so tank size for these i recommend not even a tank a screen enclosure that measures about two by two by four high that's the best for me anyways um this guy he's real real active when you're holding him <clears throat> About 70 to 80 degrees for their ambient temperature. And <clears throat> their hot spot's going to be about 85 to about 95. Feed them live insects, such as superworms, crickets. Just not so much with the crickets. I don't really feed too much crickets to any of my animals. Just because they don't really have that, that protein and fat that they should have. That I think that they should have anyways. Uh, greens, you give these guys greens too. They're really cool. Come on. As they get bigger, their little uh, nails or claws or whatever you want to call them, they hurt. <laughs> and it's not like they're meaning to. It's just they're trying to hold on. Uh, obviously, they need UVB. And when you stretch out their tail, okay, they can measure about 18 to 24 inches men males being the larger of the the species really cool little guys um i gotta handle this one just a little bit more he's one of my newest but there's that all right get down all right and then from there the next progressive level, I guess you would say, would be one of these. I'm going to try to catch the other one real quick. 
if he lets me. It might not let me. Here we go. All right, and the reason why I'm going to be showing two of these is the two different that I have, uh, the two different colors that I have. Iguanas. Are you going to focus? Boom. All right, so now this is an Xanthic Iguana or Blue Xanthic. Um, okay, jump down. That's cool, too. That works. All right, so this is Reptar. This is my blue. One of my blue. I got uh, two more blues. Just love him so much. I'm going to put him up just because he just jumped. I'm going to talk about this one a little bit. This is the only one that I have. Go back in there. Go back in there. All right. Sorry, I got to fix everything. All right. So, this is going to be a false red iguana. The one that you just seen, obviously, was the blue. Uh, and it don't matter if they're green, they're red, they're blue. It's the same thing. These are iguana iguana for their scientific name. Uh, so... With these guys, I don't recommend the tank at all. I recommend a cage to start off with. Um, for instance, I use a really tall bird cage on its side. That way, uh, they have height. And that's just how I do it. Especially when, you know, they're this big. Now, this isn't big, obviously, but that's what I would start these guys in. Um, or temperature is about 80 to 88. With a hot spot anywhere from 95 to 100. Typically works best for me anyways with them. Uh, so on these guys, there's different vegetables you can give them as well as commercial food. <clears throat> and the vegetables, you know, would be greens, carrots, peas, beans, some beans, not all beans. Um, and obviously fresh beans, not dried beans. Uh, but bell peppers, even some squash. These guys love carrots. They really do love the carrots. You need UVB for them. And the reason why you need UVB for these animals is you don't want them to get, uh, and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong right now just because I'm talking about it, but metabolic bone disease. There you go. And that's just when they can't really produce the, uh, or not so much produce, per -da -da -da. when they can't process the calcium best, or not so much best, but when they can't process the calcium. Um... So, there's that. And then, their size, you can get them anywhere between 5 and 7 feet at adult lengths. When they're younger, they're flighty. Um, they can get aggressive as they age as well, especially if not handled properly. Reptard, the biggest, the biggest one that I just showed you, he's been pretty cool, but... He's starting to uh, be a little more flighty now. And obviously the little ones, they just, they're always flighty in my experience. Um, so let me just move these. I already got them out the way. All right. So now I got two left. These I don't necessarily recommend. Same with the iguanas. I don't recommend them to beginners. I'm not saying um, that you have to be super experienced or nothing like that, but it does does make a difference if you are really well experienced with these animals reptiles in general um so the first one i'll show you all right oh excuse me <clears throat> so this is my little baby i don't know if it's going to really pick up the colors on him um he's just an argentine argentine however you want to pronounce it black and white tegu <clears throat> really chill really calm really cool really like him uh got him for a real good deal and i think he'd be cool in the shows so when they're this size you could start them off um in a 20 gallon i got him in a 40 gallon right now but uh you can start them off in a 20 gallon that's cool then, obviously, you got to upgrade because these guys can get decent size. 
to the point where you might need to build an enclosure. That's what I'm going to do with this guy. Same with the iguanas. They're going to get a, a good enclosure. And he's just real active right now. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to focus for you. Boom. Look at that. And he just purdy. He, she, I don't know. But, uh, so the temps are going to be about 80 to 90 for the ambience. And the hot spot's going to be about 95 to 100. Pretty guy. Could be wrong. Could be sadly mistaken. But it looks like he's starting to develop the little fat sacks that males get. I don't know. He's real pretty. He's got a little, uh. Little upside down smiley face right there just before his cloaca. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if they all have that. If you guys have a black and white tegu, definitely let me know if you guys have a little smiley face. Upside down smiley face. You gonna stop? Come on, bro. Stop. He's not gonna let me show you <clears throat> any better than what you guys already have. Um, so with these guys, insects, um, you definitely want to give them crickets. Uh, more so than any other of my animals anyways, I give this guy crickets. Okay. They do actually have some beneficial, um, nutritions that the black and whites need. But, so, you can feed him rodents, uh, different meats. I like to give him, uh, hearts, chicken hearts and gizzards. And he loves them. You can give him pinkies. It's pretty cool with them. Um, you can also do sweet fruits, grapes, bananas, you know, cantaloupe, whatever. Really cool guy. They do require UVB light. And obviously males are going to be bigger. Focus. Males are going to be bigger. And they average about three to five feet. They're really cool. A lot of the times, these guys are real puppy dog. Come on, focus. These guys are real puppy dog tame. Really cool. What's crazy is, he's still really vivid green right here. You guys can only see it in certain lighting. But, see right there, he don't look green at all. But he is still vivid green on the head. My little buddy. Now this next one is definitely going to be the hardest species that I have here. Um, definitely is going to require more knowledge than any of the other species that I mentioned. And that's going to be this little guy. He's definitely one of my favorites. They're really all my favorite, but he's real active too. Trying to get that energy, not energy, sorry, exercise. Um, so, to start off with, you can put them in a 40-gallon. That's what I recommend, um, minimum. That's what I got them in right now is a 40-gallon breeder. Obviously, as they get older, you're going to need a, you're going to need to uh, make an enclosure because they don't stay this small forever. Really cool. Really like them. Uh, temperatures are going to be about 80 to 90. With a hot spot about 95 to 100. <laughs> and the diet is going to consist of fish. You can do frogs as well. And uh, like different rodents. Obviously mice, rats, whatever. But they do need UVB. And their sizes vary. Um, you can get them, some are only, you know, three feet, but you can get them up to nine feet on occasion, or not so much on occasion, but there has been cases of them getting up to nine feet. So, obviously, do your research. This isn't something that you just up and buy um, without knowing about the species. Okay, come on. Every time I hold them, he hasn't yet. 
shot, like surprisingly. But every time I hold him, he makes sure he poops on me. But, ooh. He's really cool. He's a little flighty at first, but he's not really too bad. Um, I'm not going to leave him on my shoulder, though. I know that. I'm all. He's real freaking cool. But as soon as it can focus, look how awesome he is, man. He's just great. This is a normal. The Tegu is a normal as well. Um, and I just got him all my things right here just so I can hurry up and show you guys so I'm not walking away, walking away. But regardless, all right, um, so that's that. That was all my lizards. Um, in total, I have over 70 reptiles, just in case anybody was wondering. I get asked that all the time, so I figured I'd let you guys know. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you go like my page on Facebook. Uh, it's Grizzlies Exotics. Show your support. You know, it, it's much appreciated. Any and all likes, shares, comments, whatever. Um, it just helps me get my name out there. And once I'm able to sell the, some of these animals, not all of these animals that you guys seen have, are available. But I do have some bearded dragons. I do have corn snakes. And I do have a ball python or two that I will be getting rid of um, that will be available, whatever. So there's that. Just make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you would. It's much appreciated. Can't even talk right now. But uh, yeah, that's that. Take care, guys.